density altitude. This isn't something you can directly read up an instrument. It's calculated. Density altitude is pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. The same person that decided that the average pressure at sea level is about 29.92 also found out that the average temperature at sea level is about 15 degrees Celsius. This is important to know because that temperature will give us a starting point of how to know how the temperatures affect the thickness of the air. The higher the temperature, the more the air molecules are spread and the less dense the air is. And therefore, our density altitude will be higher than the pressure altitude. If the temperature is lower, it causes the molecules to stick closer together, therefore making the air denser and causes the density altitude to be lower than our pressure altitude. Because our wings, propeller and engine rely on air, they will react accordingly to this air density. Higher density, better performance. And the lower the density, less performance. So think of it like this. Density altitude tells you how your plane will perform. On a hot day at a high elevation airport, the air is less dense, so your wings and propeller produce less lift and thrust and your engine produces less power. In our performance charts, we usually won't see our density altitude, but it will show pressure altitude with different temperatures. These refer to our density altitude. This is also the reason why some pilots call density altitude performance altitude. To calculate our density altitude, we have a simple formula to help us out, which is the outside air temperature minus the standard temperature at our altitude times 120 plus the pressure altitude. So let's take the pressure altitude calculated before and let's assume it's a hot day, say 29 degrees Celsius at our 1500 feet airport. Standard temperature at sea level is 15 degrees Celsius, but we are at 1500 feet. Our standard lapse rate for temperature is 2 degrees Celsius for every 1000 feet of elevation, which means with every 1000 feet we climb, the temperature will decrease with 2 degrees Celsius. So the standard temperature at 1500 feet will be 12 degrees. Now let's fill in the formula and see how the plane will perform. So 29 minus 12 times 120 plus a previous pressure altitude of 1970 equals 4010 feet. So even though we're only at 1500 feet, the plane will act as it would be at 4,010 feet, which will significantly impact our performance. 